you know, the people who watched me here on KVU for all those years know that I didn't like to overhype weather situations, kind of keep it all in perspective, give people the information they need to know so they can make some smart decisions. But this, this is a little bit different. This is almost the worst case scenario. You know, this is a situation that I always feared might happen across central Texas. A stalled tropical system, oversaturated ground. We've had a good round of rainfall so far, and now with the uncertainty of Harvey and its path, if this thing were to stall over central Texas, this is going to be more flooding than we have perhaps ever seen in, in modern history. Yeah, you know, I hear people say, well, I didn't flood in the Memorial Day floods of 1981 or the Memorial Day floods of 2015 or the Halloween floods or the Christmas floods of 1991. You know, you really can't use those to compare to this situation. This is something totally different. A stalled tropical system, especially at night, can put out a foot of rain just like that, maybe two feet of rain. The closest historical perspective that I can think of, you have to go back to September of 1921 a dying tropical depression stalled over eastern Williamson County near Thrall and it put out nearly 40 inches of rain in just 36 hours. The most deadly flood ever for central Texas. So this time we can hope this system moves somewhere else or the forecast is wrong but the bottom line is we have to be ready this time. People could die. People could lose their lives this time and we got to be ready. We have to be responsible. Yeah, I, I don't like to overhype things. Yeah. I never have. Like, I'm in the bubble right now. You know right. what I mean? I'm in the bubble, and you're not. As far as you, you're seeing bigger perspective, and that's what that. I mean, what you just said. You know, that's going to give people chills. You know. You know, I don't want to scare anybody, but at this point, you you have to know that you need to be prepared for this. If this system, God forbid, were to come and stall over Central Texas. The core rains. At night, the rains spread out from the center, but at night, they tend to accumulate right over the center. If that center happens to be near or over Austin, we could see over two feet of rain in a very short period of time. 